Hey guys, welcome to Valuable Classes. This is Ganesh Pujari, and we were discussing essentials of a valid contract, and of which we were discussing free consent in detail, and of which we have already covered coercion, undue influence, and fraud. In my today's class, I am going to cover misrepresentation, which is one of the smallest chapter, and then we are discussing the difference between fraud and misrepresentation. So, why to waste time? Let's get into the first slide. Section 18 defines what is misrepresentation and I am giving an illustration to you guys to help you guys to understand what exactly is misrepresentation. Imagine there are two person Mr. A and Mr. B and Mr. A has a camera which he got from his father. Now Mr. A's father is no more and whichever camera he is having now from his father he thinks his father has bought such camera from USA. Now A has some financial difficulty so he wants to sell the camera to Mr. B so he says that this camera which belongs to my father is bought from USA. Mr. B believes that this camera belongs to USA so he buys the camera for certain price. But after some days with some or other way B comes to know that this camera is actually not made of USA but of China. Now that is what called misrepresentation which is made by A. Now Mr. A is not aware that he is misrepresenting something because he is not aware of the fact and Mr. B is also not aware of the fact. Here both are innocent and whatever contract came into existence because of the fact that both are believing to be fact in that case that is known as misrepresentation because actually that is not a fact. Some of the key words that you can bring in from section number 18 while writing answer is the party which is making the representation is innocent, there is a positive assertion, there is a presentation made by that party and the party which is making the presentation believes that the statement that it is making is true, however that is not true, however the party, the innocent party which I am referring has no intention to deceive the other party. In that case the entire process is known as misrepresentation. Just like coercion and fraud, section 19 which speaks about voidability of agreement without free consent gives an opportunity in the case of misrepresentation to the party which got deceived can make the contract a voidable contract. So this is in the option of the party which got deceived which can make the contract as a voidable contract. Sorry that I forgot to bring in case laws here. You can refer the case laws of Nuruddin versus Umaraitu BV and Mackenzie versus Royal Bank of Canada and Oriental Bank Corporation versus John Fleming. The last and very important part of this particular presentation is the difference between fraud and misrepresentation. Remember mostly fraud and misrepresentations are asked together and whenever they are asked together they will also ask you what are the differences. So you need to remember few of the differences and I have brought nine of them here. The first difference the term fraud is defined under section number 17 whereas misrepresentation is dealt in section number 18. Under fraud the misrepresentation happens intentionally whereas under misrepresentation that is under section 18 the misrepresentation is done innocently. Under fraud the intention of deceiving another party is present whereas under misrepresentation there is no intention of deceiving another party but by making innocent misrepresentation the other party get deceived. The fourth difference is the party which is making the statement under fraud is very well aware that the statement is not true whereas under misrepresentation the party which is making the statement is not at all aware that it is making a wrong statement. The fifth difference is in the case of fraud the aggrieved party can sue for damage whereas in the case of misrepresentation such opportunity is not there. The sixth difference is in the case of the fraud wherever the statement is made by one party such party cannot say that the other party had sufficient opportunity to discover the truth whereas in the case of misrepresentation the party which has done the misrepresentation can always say the other party had sufficient opportunity to discover the truth. Now the fraud is deliberate and willful whereas misrepresentation is done innocently that is the seventh difference. And the eighth difference is very very important under section number 415 to 420 of Indian Penal Code we are discussing the chapter cheating which deals with fraud also whereas misrepresentation is not part of IPC. The last difference that I am bringing is there are multiple types of frauds available whereas in misrepresentation there is no such uh, uh, types are available that is the ninth difference that you need to remember. 
making false statements or concealing the fact etc are the different types of frauds and we are almost done with the concepts that are dealing with free consent and we are just left with one particular concept that is mistake which will be my next video on contract one if you have already subscribed my channel thank you so much for the same if you are yet to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel right now please like share and comment my videos all the very best for whatsoever purpose you are watching my video and thanks again